In this short video, we are going to talk about uh, Kerberos SSO support in Silver Fabric 5.6. Now let's start the broker side configuration. First, go to Config Broker. Select Security. Move down to Kerberos SSO. Set Enable to True. Import Broker SPN. So the SPN must start with HTTP slash and uh, the fully qualified domain name of the broker. That's important on the client side because the client is going to use reverse DNS to reconstruct this S SPN. If something is wrong with the reverse DNS, it will co construct an uh, incorrect SPN and uh, there will be negoci nego negotiation errors. Now uh, also input the broker key tab file. Now s submit the change. Next, go, go to the user admin page to verify that a user has been created for the Kerberos client. Here it is. In this case, the client name is FFAN. That's all for the broker side configuration. Now we can start restart the broker. OK, now that the broker has been restarted, let's start test the Kerberos connection from my Linux desktop. First, uh, reacquire a Kerberos TKT for my client. OK, init, type in password for client FFAN. OK, now verify that uh, Firefox uh, is enabled, has, has support Kerberos for the broker's URL. Here, type in BOUT CONF config, uh, understand risks and uh, negotiate filters. Here it is. So, I, both IE and the Chrome have similar functions. Now let's start a browser URL to the broker. HTTP. Here it is. Logged in as the Kerberos client. Now let's try Skyway. Login to as FFAN. OK. Besides browser web UI, uh, UI Kerberos is also supported in Silver Fabric, CLI, REST API, and end tasks. Let's give it a try. Let's CD into, actually, I'm currently into the SDK home. VI Fabric CLI dot prop CLI FA, sorry, FA, BIC, CLI dot prop this. Let's go to DS Kerberos SSO. Enable it's true. Uh, let's comment out username and password. OK. Now let's try fabric list stacks. OK, it works. It lists all the stacks on the broker. That's all for this demo. See you next time.